Inside Edward Lau's herbal shop, employees stay busy measuring and packaging herbal medicine. We have been using, the Asian has been using herb to treat illnesses and to prevent, like, a, uh, to have a better health, you know, for thousands of years. I, I've been doing this herbal business for 44 years already. So my, my father is a, is a Chinese doctor and uh, I'm a certified uh, herbalist. You know. Lau is hoping to share that knowledge here as the curator of the new traditional Chinese Herbal Medicine Exhibition Hall, which showcases more than 400 commonly used Chinese herbs. We have more than 11,000 herbs available to use. For example, on this, uh, this category, we call clear heat or heatiness. Docent Nancy Yu says the hall is designed to make understanding those herbs and their benefits easier. We have um, many visitors come with uh, different uh, uh, different purposes. Uh, one of them they want to learn like uh, what is what is general medicine, uh, what is general herbal Chinese medicine. They want to find out what it is. This shot is one of my favorites. Yvonne Lau is the vice chair of the American Research Institute of Chinese Medicine, which funds the hall. She says the history of Chinese medicine can be found across the West. A lot of the new immigrants, again, were herbalists themselves, and they imported stuff, and a lot of these herb shops are preserved. Like uh, the Chuki store um, in Fiddletown, California, you can actually visit it. Lau says for her, it's not only part of American history, but her own. I am fourth generation herbal merchant, um, and I grew up in Chinatown, grew up in herb shop, so that's all I've known my entire life. <laughs> According to the National Institute of Health, one in five Americans use Chinese herbs. But unlike treatments for acupuncture, there is no U.S. certification for herbal medicine. More self-regulating. Um, we came up with a uh, with a program for Chinese pharmacists, Chinese medicine pharmacists training. And so most of the herb shops in San Francisco Chinatown and many in uh, other Bay Area cities came and participated in our three-year program. So they um, can prescribe, or well, they're not supposed to really prescribe, but they can, they understand herbs and they can look at a prescription and understand what it's for. Whether an introduction or a reconnection, it is a better understanding of a practice that has spanned so many generations for thousands of years. In San Francisco, Claudine Wong, KTVU. Fox 2 News.